What I simply want to say is do not give a man wifey benefits and you ain't nothing but this man girlfriend. He ain't putting no ring on your finger, not even an engagement ring, a promise ring, a I never do that again ring, nothing type of ring. Your last name ain't even changed and you sitting up here watching his draws. When you assume the role of a wife, moving in with a man before your last name has changed, you are doing wifey benefits. Now you washing his clothes, cooking, giving him sex on demand when he feel like it. And Shut up, silly woman. When y'all talk about not doing wife things for a boyfriend, how come intercourse and popping out babies ain't included in that? Ha! <laughs> Got Y'all will do all that but draw the line at making a sandwich? Hmm. And dudes are not going to take, and I hope dudes don't take advice from women, you know, that have been sucking on Kool-Aid packets. Like, the, you know, they were back in the apartments back in the days with roaches and rats. And they, they would understand that this woman that has on all this makeup, over two pounds, that she would be giving out crappy advice. Doesn't have a ring on her own finger, but telling men, or uh, women actually, don't get with men that aren't going to, they're not putting a ring on your finger, don't give out wifely duties. But when wifely duties are the thing that gets you the ring. <laughs> women are so backwards, bro. These modern women are so freaking backwards. So you think you can just waltz up to any old guy that you want, not show any wifely duties, not show your potential. And if you add any value, expect him to give you value and give you all this attention and give you this ring as if he's known you and vetted you for over a year for free. <laughs> Fuck out of here. This is how modern women get tricked by TikTok simps. We ain't playing that roommate shit. We gotta start treating these women like the goddesses that they are. We should be honored serious? that they are in our lives. You take her on a date, you need to buy her outfit before you take her on that day. Are you dumb? Do you know how honored we should be just to be in their presence. Bruh. We should not only pay for their living, assume all financial responsibilities that they have. We should feed them, praise her daily, and always remember, she is the prize. Oh, no. Y'all argue, it's your fault. She cheated, it's your fault. You are here to serve her. So stay focused. Cut. Yo, we about to do numbers. The numbers go love this. You know, all you got to do is tell us whatever they want to hear about it. Bro, we're still recording. <laughs> exactly. Prime example, Derek Jackson telling women what they want to hear, simping for women on TikTok because women can consume the products and buy products off of him. So that man was pretty much making money off of these lonely women. And it's still happening. The mainstream media makes money off of these lonely women lying to them telling them all oh, the single ladies all oh, the single ladies beyonce makes money off of them meg the stallion Nicki minaj cardi b you ain't got you don't need no man telling them all of this stuff because they know that they're in the workforce now they're making so much money in the uh large cities in the united states they're making all this money why not just extract from them so yeah, these women, that's why you hear these women in, in the beginning giving terrible advice, talking about some, uh, well, don't give a man wifely duties until he gets a ring, all that crap, because you got dudes like this that lie to women because women are so impressionable and so, so easy to manipulate that they get easily manipulated and they start believing the delusion. <laughs> Funny though, this is a skit, but this is hilarious. This is how it goes down, man. But I can't be that way, man. I can't do, I can't lie, bro. I could not do this, bro. I would probably slap my own self, but I have to be real and straight up. That shit is delusion. Let me just start by saying that this Passport Bro series is one of the most entertaining and ironic series. And it's been an honor and actually hilarious to roast the Zessie Dwight Howard while everybody in the comment section continues to call you moist. It's been hilarious. Thank you for that. That I've ever witnessed play out on this app. Roll a clip. A lot of people in Brazil are misinterpreting uh, the things that I'm saying in English and they don't really know how to speak English that well and they, they're misinterpreting a lot of things because I don't say anything negative about Brazilians. So it's, that's why it's so shocking to me to have this going on. At first, this is very heartbreaking to me. The fact that uh, it was always my dream to live in Brazil and my YouTube channel was centered around me showing other men, not just the women, but just if you if you guys understand English and you watch my videos, you see me talk about how I enjoy just, first of all, we can start with just the drinks on how. I'm gonna stop him right there because we all know why he went to Brazil. 
Yeah, the dude went to Brazil. He started off in Brazil. Now he's been all the way around the world and he's matured as he's gone there. I know a lot of people don't like him, but he the main point is he ducked out all these damn pirates, leaving these pirate lifestyles, smoking hookah, having crab balls, eating seafood all the time. Now you got chicks doing parlays. Like what the bro, like he ducked away from these masculine ass chicks and he went over there to get femininity and he's got it. He is his, his uh passport is stamped up. He's had so many girlfriends in each country. While you sit here like the chat GPT bot that you are, this zesty Dwight Howard, because this is what modern women and the sisterhood do. They send out these chat GPT bots like this guy right here. They just use him. He's being used by them to do their bidding while they take care of their 17 kids by 17 other dudes, while they have their crab boils, smoke their hookah. You know what I'm saying? They drink like, you know, fish. They smell like fish. And they live their pirate ass lifestyle. So this guy's doing their bidding, or he did do their bidding. But yeah, man, it's absolutely ridiculous. We know why he left. <laughs> it's 2024. We know why bro left. It's getting worse. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's hear from the passport bro spokesperson. Yeah. And to say that feminism is worldwide. And this nice young lady here, Stephanie, has accused this man of sexual tourism and his videos have never ever ever promoted this. this is an old video but let's touch on the tourism real quick Austin Holloman actually had a video and he's like if you really want to know about you know the people who are coming out here for sex tourism to be completely honest it's typically older women or it's like some like weirdos and they act weird they dress weird, they're, they're acting creepy on the beaches. Those are the people that are doing it. It's typically women. They do the tourism. It's not the guys, especially not the guys that are in shape, not the guys that have their head on straight, trying to duck out of the craziness, that are trying to explore other countries, learn the language, which Austin Holloman has done. I'm not trying to toot, toot his horn or anything, pause or anything like that, but I know a lot of dudes don't dis, you know, they don't like him, they dislike him. They don't really care for him. They call him all types of names. But the thing is, he's been transparent and he's been the same all this time. He hasn't changed up. He hasn't switched up. All this bull crap that people have been talking about him. But yeah, he actually mentioned it. If you guys want to talk about the sex tourism stuff, it's typically the women. They're weird. You can tell their mannerisms. He actually exposed it in one of his videos I watched. But anyway, man, let's keep going. These zesty chat GPT, zesty Dwight Howard's. Like, these dudes, man, they don't do anything. Only thing they do is sit around and do their bidding for the sisterhood. Let's continue. Now, let's get into the statement that was made that caused Brazilians to not want him in their country. The same statement that Buddy just said, he has never, ever, ever roll a clip. You feel the need to wait a day or two? Or no, you, no. So you go the same day? Yes. That's all I need to know. Get your pants. Now, if you remember at the beginning of this clip, he said he thinks it was an issue because they don't understand English and they may have misinterpreted what he said. How could they be mad if they didn't understand what you said? First of all, it's just one chick. It wasn't a whole bunch of people that don't want him in the country and none of that garbage. It's not that. And why are you so mad that you're the zesty Dwight Howard and you do weird stuff like this, especially when you were playing for the Houston Rockets? How could they be upset if they didn't understand the words that were coming out of your mouth? And how can we expect or respect anything you have to say in this video still when you do things like this? Now that's on top of the fact that there are many Brazilians who speak English, in fact, fluent English. So not only did you insult their women, but you tried to play with their intelligence. Uh, let me guess, because you know every single woman, yeah, that speaks English in Brazil. You make no sense, and he didn't do no such thing. So not only are you insulting and slandering Austin Holloman's name, you also violated and assaulted your teammates' stress balls. You've also just made yourself look pretty stupid and insulted yourself by making this video. But I'll keep cooking you. It's funny how the zesty Dwight Howard took the clip of oh you saying that you will go on the first day and then the girl says yeah he goes all right there you, that's all you need to know get your passport 
these women are are they're not they're with the business pretty much they're with the business they're not on that bs but he interpreted that as mixing in the things about not understanding the same language he compiled a bunch of videos about this man working overtime as the chat gpt zesty body is and it didn't make any sense when you really break down what he's talking about he's just fabricating stuff putting things together and just clipping things this is a clip head like this is just this bullshit bro it, it is a, is a hit piece and it doesn't make sense it's all clipped together but anyway man this is the zesty the white hour and you see how i had to cook him bro this this dude does this stuff on the courts that's why he can't get back in the nba that's why the nba won't let him come back to a team this dude does zesty stuff in the past and he's probably doing zestier things probably when he was texting his teammates but let me keep cooking this dude and now you're heartbroken because they're holding you accountable <laughs> nah you're just heartbroken because you didn't get a shot to use your claw machine on that man's pelvic area <laughs> that man is overseas in tanzania chilling right now so you're wrong see being zesty does nothing for you oh yeah it does do something for you makes you involuntary celibate and more feminine stupid now i think this is a good time to start exploring these nuts <laughs> that the issue may not be the women in your country of origin might not be the women i don't know i don't know but i don't want to discourage y'all from making this content because it is entertaining, you know what I'm saying? It's giving very much soap opera stories, telenovela, like we want it, yeah. Yeah, we know exactly what you want. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> bro, I had to cook him, bro. Man, this is a classic video again, man. And that's the thing, man. Where What happened to the zesty Dwight Howard? What happened to the one-time NBA champion? What happened to the, you know, the USA team uh, champion two years in a row? What happened to the zesty Dwight Howard? He disappeared off the face of the earth because the thing is you can go ahead you can throw jabs at the passport bros you can try to make fun of them you can try to conflate up all these clips and make storylines out of them and try to get entertained and try to get the sisterhood because her handler was on the other clip right there you know what i'm saying you can do all this chat gpt stuff you want it doesn't work men have options men can go overseas and the thing is you know you swing from that side of the putt but it seems like you don't have enough time on your hands or enough men to get your hands on <laughs> <laughs> so you want to you want to talk crazy at that time about him and he's not even in tanzania the dude is in chile right now dude ugh, i'm telling you man this is why the passport bros still rule to this day in 2024 i hope you guys enjoyed that video that was pretty much me going over and doing a recap of the classic video absolutely hilarious couldn't leave that one out uh i would ask that you guys please like the video sub to the channel we'll post notifications on man zesty's down bounty villains up let's get it let's go we on a roll to 40k we already hit 39 i love you all man keep watching the videos keep your head high guys and keep using your passport because i know there's a lot of dudes in the comment section that said that they're going overseas this year coming up let me know about your experience when you go out there start your own vlog channels let me know i will subscribe to you guys too i love you all per usual get your passport use it i'm out peace